This program has already started yielding some good results to Cross River State in the school sports that happened recently. Cross River State, you know, under a comprehensive sports development program, came out tops consecutively. You know, um, even the one that was hosted in River State. Um, also under that program too, one of the boys that you know won the gold medal in pole vault is all part of our sports development program. So under a comprehensive program like so, we are developing facilities across the state. This one is here in Ecom, and there's another one at um, Ogoja. It's uh, given, awarded to the Chinese firm CCEC under a design and build contract. And um, this, we believe, was supposed to have been finished in March this year, but there are a few challenges that, in terms of the site acquisition and encroachment, which um, we hope that by November this year, uh, both facilities will be ready for 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 use. And maybe we'll invite you again to come and witness the facility. You can you can just take a view and look around and see what we're going. Sorry, uh, let me make this very clear. The big story. The big story is not that a boy from here won gold medal at uh, the pole vote event during the National Sports uh, Festival. The big story really is that he's a secondary school student and is part of our sports development policy to focus attention towards the schools and the rural uh, areas. It's very important. We are one state that does not go to push athletes from other states. We don't buy athletes to go and represent us in national sports events. The last Lagos uh, Sports uh, Festival, we came uh, eight. Everybody who competed is either a cross variant or is somebody who grew in cross River state. We don't go to Benio, we don't go to Edo to hire people just to represent us at the sports uh, festivals. That is very important to note. Thank you. Questions, please. Uh, Mikoma and Aguja were awarded to the Chinese group for 2.2 billion naira. Yeah, like I said when I was doing my introduction, that the projects were supposed to be completed in March this year, but due to site challenges and encroachment, which involve relocation of, you know, um, the the inhabitants. So we're looking at uh, November this year. Thank you. One more questions, please. From Rural Development Initiative. I just want more elaboration on this issue of integrated sport program. This is the headquarter of a local government and we have ward districts. So I want to know the facility that is being provided for at that level, local level, that it will not enable them to enjoy it there and come to this level before moving down to the state. Whether there are some pitch and other facilities in, in the rural area. Uh, thank you. Um, let me just quickly answer that um, as part of our comprehensive sports development program, we also tie it into our schools, you know, um, um, improvement. We're developing about 60 schools right now across, and each of those schools must have a standard, you know, playing field. And that is where, you know, we groom them so that they can now come and compete at this standard facility out here. Uh, thank you. Somebody asked a question about when the contract was awarded. That was December, you know, 2011. Thank you. I'm sick. Uh, okay. Let me add that every local government cannot have this kind of facility. It's not possible. So this one, beyond that it is local government headquarters, it is captive to several other local governments that are around. This is Central Senatorial District. When you take it on, it's equidistant to all the other local governments that are, that are around. So that is why the location is here. Every school, like I said, our concentration is on the schools. Schools are encouraged to have sporting facilities. You saw the one at Bokwara yesterday. Netball, football, badminton pitches are provided. Thank you. Thank you.